thoughts on the game, and then uh, we'll turn it over to questions. I thought both teams kind of felt each other out in the first period, and uh, uh, certainly the, you can't give a good players uh, opportunities, and uh, they executed and started the scoring going, and I, I thought we did a real good job of, uh, I think that was a, a kick that we needed to start playing uh, our type of hockey, and uh, kind of thought once we got our game going, and get them hemmed in a little bit in their D zone and things would break for us. What was the momentum like on the bench as soon as you got that first goal? <laughs> Probably like their momentum after they got the first one. Um, but the second one was real good momentum. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I think it was a relief and momentum a little bit. Uh, I think uh, sometimes when that happens, uh, there's a lot of an advantage to that. You're, you're down one, you feel some pressure, you get one. Yeah, you know, it's a breath of fresh air and excitement, and uh, um, more than anything else, and you know, I think there's a little push to your back after that. Now, Brendan, you're sort of a local kid. Uh, what has it meant to you to play here at Hobart these past four years? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, the last four years have been great. I obviously have a huge love for this organization. Um, all four years have been really good. Obviously, we've always had a good team. Um, yeah, I would say not even as a hockey player, as a person too. Being here for four years has been unbelievable. I have some relationships that will last for my whole life. So it's good to have on the last run, make it to the final four, and then we got two more to go. And how good did that feel to not only get your guys on the board, start open the floodgates, so to speak, but to do it in potentially your last game in the cooler? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that's always on your mind. When you get into these games where it's win or go home, um, yeah, it's always on your mind. You're like, this could be the last competitive game that you ever play. So, um, yeah, I think our team's had a good – we have a good mindset the whole year. So even when we're down, I think we don't we don't lose our confidence. But going down 1-0 to zero was definitely a wake-up call. And, uh, yeah, we just, we've just we had a good team mindset the whole year. Everyone believes in each other. And, um, yeah. Now it looks like it's going to be Endicott you're playing next. Uh, any early scouting report on them? Um seen who's won. Is it, do we know who's officially won or lost? They, they won 3 nothing. Okay. Oh, we don't know what you did, right? You did a good tie 4-4. Okay, so they're tied right now? In overtime. Okay. So, yeah, we'll have to just uh, play whoever we have to play. So, I mean, we know pretty much every team that's in the tournament. Uh, do a little bit more once we know exactly who we're playing. It looks like we're, we know who we're playing, so uh, so that's good. Bottom line is we got to play our best game, a couple of tweaks on what certain teams do. I think Endicott's uh, a, a lot like us in the way they play. They play hard, they play fast, they got you know good depth, good goaltending, good D, good forward. So um, it'll be another it'll be another exciting game. Coach, that sequence of uh, three goals in 35 seconds. Have you do you recall uh, an instance like that in your time here at Hobart? <laughs> uh, uh, last year, I think in New England College. Uh, uh, we got three scored against us pretty quick, and uh, we ended up winning that game. So um, I can't recall scoring that many that quick. Um, but uh, one of the themes we have going this year is making sure we we uh, use that momentum, you know. And uh, I think we did tonight. It really helped us. Any other questions? Yeah, coach. It, I mean, the three goals is fantastic. Anytime you can get them that quick, but the fact that they happen two minutes before the period ends. And you guys go into the locker room with, like, you know, face wide grin. So, how much bigger was that? The fact that that happened at the end of a tough second or it's, a good it's, second. It's always a plus to, to get goals at the end of the last five minutes. You don't want to give up goals. You want to try and get, get goals. Um, because, you know, that's how, how you're going into a period, end, of, end of a period. Um, and certainly getting something like that is, is a little deflating. You know, one or two, it's a different game, but. We, we not only got them, but I thought we kept kept that pace. You know, I thought it was on them. I felt like I was getting out of that period when the buzzer was blue. So, um, and they're a good hockey team. I mean, you know, Kent seven and uh, you know their their D. I mean, D, we knew we couldn't give those guys a lot of opportunities. I think we we did a good job of limiting them to that. I thought uh, we matched up twenty uh, eight's line, Arms line. I thought it, you know, I thought those guys did an awesome job and. Keeping those guys in check, but uh, you know, Craner's line with uh, Howie and Fonzie on it. I mean, I think you're there, you're that uh, third goal, your pass over. I think that was when uh, their line was out there. So, 
just good to see you know, guys scoring that we're matched up against them too. So. And speaking of Artem, he went 9-14 of 14 in the face-off circle. He started off okay and then just started losing him. So how did you keep his head focused into the game to keep playing as well, well as you well, did? Looking a little bit deeper, I mean, Joel does a great job at uh, up top. And, you know, you, you might lose a draw. And uh, or I should say it might be a 50-50. Neither side, neither centerman actually won the draw. And uh, <clears throat> sometimes it's on the wingers to get to that puck. Um, so it's not always the centerman. You know, sometimes... Uh, the center doesn't lose a draw, but the rest of us don't win the faceoff. So, um, feeling that stat back, you know, yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take Artem's game tonight. I don't care if you want to draw. You know, that was a pretty good game by him. Anything else? Right. Thank you, coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.